Thank you for clicking on this video. Today, a first reaction of Soul Eater Not, a spin-off series of probably one of my favourite shonens. In the DWMA or Death Weapon Meister Academy, there are two separate classes. The EAT, which is the home of all our classic favourites such as Soul, and Not, normally overcome target for those that were wondering. This happens to be our class of our three main protagonists in this new anime. So yes, the name for this series was just a clever pun. The thing that I was really looking forward to was being back in the Soul Eater universe. It was truly an immersive series. This has one flaw that prevents it from being as good as I wanted it to be, but it was still very satisfying, and I'm ultimately looking forward to seeing this show evolve. This series will naturally get a lot of hate. People are going to say that it's destroying Soul Eater and everything that that show was valued for, but remember that it is your choice to to watch this plus, it's an adaptation of a spin-off manga, not Soul Eater. I actually enjoyed this episode personally because it brought a fresh perspective to the world that we all love so much. The main problem is people are not going to be able to grasp that this is indeed a spin-off. For the characters, which really was the whole focus point of the episode, we have a fair amount of small cameos from our favourites. Sid made an appearance, and that was weird seeing him in non-zombie form. We also got a bit of Black Star in there. I actually loved all of the Meisters and weapons from Soul Eater, so it's going to be nice to see them pop up every now and then. Out of the new characters, at this time, I am mainly interested in our protagonist, just because she's, I guess, cute, but understandably confused and timid, and it just blends together to make something that was pretty well-rounded. Cliché, yeah, a bit, but I do like her. The other girls kind of felt typical. You know, we have the dumbass, who does actually pull some good jokes, although the comedy did get slightly corny at times. We also have a snobby bitch, but I'll probably grow to love them over time, because that's just how I get attached to characters. Now, their animated design is really what I'm least happy about, and here's why. The new characters fit perfectly, seriously, they do, and actually they have some very fitting looks, but the old characters had the exact opposite. See, Soul to Not has a completely different art style to its big brother, so when you transfer the characters over, they end up looking like Soul in this shot, and to quote Taylor, he does look high as fuck. That really was the factor that was preventing me from fully submersing myself. The animation also seemed to fluctuate, even if it was ever so slightly, but overall the animation was fantastic. I mean, the end fighting scene looked really good, as well as the overview of Death City, but some parts were notably worse. The first episode wasn't exactly what I would call plot driven. Like I said earlier, it was about the introduction of our new Moe Fluff group. You can't help but love them. The vibe that this show is going for, at least currently, may annoy some and make people like me and Canapa jump for joy. Shout out to Callum, aka the Canipper Effect, go check that guy out. I know one thing, I personally liked the fact that the action is going to play a bigger role in this than I thought, and from the opening we are also presented with what looks to be a new antagonist. All of that taken into account, will I watch episode 2? Hell yes! Why you ask? I love Soul Eater. This provides a different viewing angle for us to observe the world, and its awesome nature. For me, it's going to be interesting to watch this show Develop. I mean, will it pull a Madoka, take a dark turn, and blow everyone's mind? The action is really gonna pick up, but ultimately nobody knows, and that, other than the fact that I'm a die-hard fanboy, is why I will be watching this through. Plus, the thought of seeing death again gives me a raging fan boner. Thank you for watching, I have been Russ, or The Anime Planet, subscribe to get more spring reactions, and leave your thoughts in the comments below. Other than that, have a great night or day. 流れてく日常に無理して馴染みません